Pastor Todd with a devotional for September 15. In Psalm 81, God laments over what might have been. As he ponders the history of Israel, his chosen people, God mourns over what he could have done for them and through them if only they had obeyed. It's an inscrutable mystery that while God is all-powerful and nothing can thwart his sovereign purpose, at the same time, he limits his power and blessing to the obedience of his people. As we join the Lord in observing the wreckage of these wasted lives, the message to us is, the way to avoid a wasted life is to walk in obedience to the Lord. Why did this fellow Asaph write a poem like this to be sung at a festival like that? Was he some sort of spoil sport? When everybody's having a joyous time celebrating the Feast of Tabernacles, why have them sing a song that focuses on the dismal record of disobedience of God's people? It seems to me that the answer is that the psalmist realized that it's possible for God's people to go through the motions of religion outwardly, and yet inwardly to have hearts that are stubborn, self-willed, and disobedient. The psalmist is saying, Yes, come, rejoice, and celebrate the feast. But in your rejoicing, remember the past. Remember what might have been if only God's people had obeyed. And let that remembrance strike a solemn note in your rejoicing so that you do not repeat their mistake. As we examine the psalm, we need to keep in remembrance the tragic lesson of God's people who missed God's best by seeking their own agenda. It's possible for any of us to come and sing praises to God and go through all the outward motions, and yet, to be living in disobedience. The psalmist is saying, beware, the way to avoid a wasted life is to walk in obedience to God.